Apple has officially dropped iOS 17 today. I'm going to be sharing my five favorite iOS 17 features coming to all iPhones. Before we jump into my official list, I do want to mention a couple of new features that I haven't had a chance to try out yet, but I'm very excited to try. First up is the new AirDrop features. The new AirDrop feature will allow users to simply tap their phones together to share via AirDrop. And then if one user walks away during the AirDrop, it will continue working over network connectivity which is a huge advancement in what is already a somewhat mind-blowing feature when you really think about it. Next is the Apple Journal app. This is going to be a great way to share thoughts, images, and even audio recording natively on your iPhone. I'm excited to get my hands on this new app since I love journaling and the idea of sharing some of my favorite images from trips and events to reflect on later. Now let's jump into my five favorite features so far in iOS 17. Kicking off the list at number five, new updates to reminders. Okay, I think really it's just one main update that makes it worth it for me, and that's grocery lists. The new grocery list type of reminders list will automatically sort your groceries into different categories. How many times have you been at the store, pull up your grocery list, and it's just a jumbled, disorganized mess leaving you to bounce around from department to department all over the store and forgetting what you might need? No? Is that just me? First world problems? Okay, I got it, got it. Moving right along. My number four favorite feature is contact posters. This is such a fun addition. With custom contact posters, you can set up a full screen contact poster similar to a wallpaper so that when someone calls you, your whole screen transforms to show their image and name. It looks super cool and honestly just feels very personal, which I'm a huge fan of. Bonus point here, when someone calls you and leaves you a voicemail, you'll actually be able to see their voicemail transcription live on your screen while they're leaving it. And you can even answer during the voicemail and talk to them which is bringing back major memories from the early 2000s when answering machines were a thing. All right, number three on my list is something I've been waiting for for a while. They've officially dropped the hey from <laughs> Now just saying the name will invoke your phone's virtual assistant. And to take it a step further, they're finally introducing continuity to Siri, meaning you can give more than one command without prompting after each one. Turn off the video light. Turn it back on. Turn it off again. Now turn it back on. I don't know why that's so fun for me, but it is. All right, coming in at number two on my list, interactive widgets. Now your widgets on your home screen will not just open when you tap them. It's not just some glorified app button, but instead they will be reactive to your touch without launching. You can check off your reminders without opening the reminders app pause your music or podcasts, or my new favorite widget that also comes with this update, turn on and off home devices and scenes. I have completely redone my home screen just because of this feature and I am loving it. And finally, my number one favorite feature in iOS 17, standby mode. So now when you put your iPhone on its charger, you can turn it sideways and it will display this dope smart display style screen showing photos, your clock, now playing, live activities, or my favorite, widgets. I use the widgets one the most, which is two columns of widget stacks allowing you to swipe through the widgets and create your perfect smart display. This feature is so encouraging of the potential of a new HomePod with a screen and I am here for it. There are so many new features in iOS 17 that I haven't even covered here. I plan to release a bunch of different types of content showcasing the new features, so make sure to subscribe and follow me on all my social media platforms to stay updated on tips, reviews, and smart home content that you're not gonna wanna miss. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.